Hoops Nerdcast, episode 47, I believe, if not 48, but I'm pretty sure it's 47. It's yeah. the fa- past few episodes. I've been uploading them so quickly that like I, I don't have anything to do after I upload them, so I'm like, what am I... What, what am I doing? Is yeah, you're like, I, I need to film more. I, know, right? <laughs> I kind of feel like that. Like, maybe we should like record the next day. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. Uh, no, record two episodes at once. I, I mean, or I can just come over here more often. No shit. That works too. But, uh, yeah, so Schnerdcast, we're back at it again. Here with Colt Cannon. Yeah, yeah. At the fucking Colt pad. The fucking, the Coltish pad. No <laughs> the <shit. laughs> the Coltish pad. It's horrible. Uh, so today we're pretty much going to be talking about just a little bit of current events, uh, some games, you know, movies, some Spider-Man info, which mm. uh, got some crazy stuff. But um, like always, yeah. what, uh, for the what you've been up to? Oh, you already know. Reactions, music, merch, YouTube, yeah. all that stuff. Trying to stay busy. Um, just harvested some bud. Mm-hmm. That's going to be dope. Um, yeah. It's always fun to do that. At least the gr- growing part of it's relaxing, you know. We, we were talking earlier about how... Yeah. The, the tedious parts can be annoying. Yeah, I, I was trying to actually grow some bud, but I'm like, oh, it's too late. In the yeah. Season to if you did it indoors, like a mini plant indoors with a just enough lights, like these CFLs or whatever, you could get away with a decent plant. I actually have this thing called the Aero Garden, and they have these things where it's um, pretty much uh, hydro. Yeah. Oh, the hydropod, and, like hydropods. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like that. Um, That's lit. And at 16 hour, 12 hour, however you want to put uh, light cycles and all that stuff. So, oh, cool. Yeah, so it's. I was uh, I need to buy uh, their pods to put into it, and I could just grow it like that. And that's dope. It'd literally be like little fucking like hands. Dude. Oh, that's it'd dope. Yeah, you definitely should. Yeah, you definitely I should try. Into that because I have yeah. a bunch. Like I said, if I gave you this, like, I have a like if I showed you the seeds, you'd be like, whoosh, like it's yeah. hell. It's oh like, really? Yeah. Oh shit! That's right, because you got a bag that was yeah. lower grade that one time, and you're Shout like, out I... to the fucking asshole that sold that fucking <laughs> <laughs> the, the fucking <laughs> asshole delivery company that actually let that. Yeah, Sound, slide. Yeah, yeah, that's garbo. That should have been some weed for the employees. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. Well, some crazy shit happened to me the other day, actually. Uh, me and my girlfriend. We were uh, drive, uh, driving one night, and we got some Froyo. What's Froyo? Is it like a yogurt? Frozen, Frozen yogurt. yogurt? Okay, yeah. 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 So, uh, it's all right. It's just like supposed to be healthier than ice cream. And okay, I more flavors. And all I, I think I'm familiar with Frozen yogurt, but I've never yeah. heard Froyo before. That's funny. Yeah, it's just what they call it now, I guess. Like, yeah. just some places. Anyways, uh, so we're like, after we got that, uh, we went to this park, smoked a blunt, or smoked some weed, and then we're like, oh, we got pretty hungry, and we want to get some food for, tomorrow. like, uh, some food and something to be left over for the next day, so we got mm. Chipotle. But on the way over there, we're going down, um, with, you know, like, Sunrise. You know where Sunrise and Sunset is? Yeah. So there was a car accident there, and we saw it, dude, and it was fucking crazy. Is that why you snapped me? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nuts. And this dude uh, ran a red light and fucking boom right into some people. Oh. And uh, this is a lesson that people should know. And unless you could, like, don't ever try to get away with it, but the dr- person who was driving was drunk. And he denied he was driving. And he had two other people in there who, who lied and said that he was driving, which some people were probably like, oh, that's no biggie. Just yeah. like, he just tried to get. It turns out that's an actual potential fel- felony if you try to lie. So two people, on, on, on top of that dude's DUI, and go, they all probably just went to jail that night oh. for lying and everything. And I, I we, me and my girlfriend stopped because we were witnesses. Yeah. So and I just remember because yeah, you weren't like just uh, like trying to like view the excitement. No, like you, we, you'd we seen it. it. Like, yeah, it you were helping. Like, yeah. Probably like twenty yards, thirty yards ahead of us. So it was like literally right there. You know? That's crazy. Yeah, that's way too. Even that, as far as that is, that's still too close for comfort. Yeah, we we were like really talking, because uh, you know me, I'm kind of a little little hectic driver. I can be a little yeah, a little you're crazy. And I was just chilling that night, but I was just like thinking like shit. Like if I would have maybe just gone ran, a little like, bit like, faster you know I mean? instead of instead of ran that yellow light, and then that would have been me at that light. Yeah. Or if I, you know, just. And Imagine if I cut that guy off. Yeah, yeah and, like, like and I ended up being the one that got yeah, hit in front we were of him. Just cruising, and we're just cruising, and like when I'm cruising like that, when I'm just going, like when there's no really destination, I'm more chill. You're chill as fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's bad. Like I'm working on that. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I am an aggressive driver, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you're like I want to drive everywhere. Like when I'm going nowhere. <laughs> that's why I like to drive when I'm really yeah. high because I'm just like whatever. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> that's <chill>. cool. Yeah, that's... <laughs> whatever. I'm not going. This, I'm not going as fast as you. I'm not going 85. I'm sorry. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. You're like I'm going the speed limit. I'm going under the speed limit to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that that put like some things into perspective and shit, and it was just it was just crazy to see just. 
how that could happen because the people he hit, the drunk driver hit, was literally like, like it was like a fucking, you couldn't have wrote it any better, like sadly to say, but it was like a, a car full of kids. Yeah. And like a family. You know oh, I mean? so man. It was like dad, and there was like three kids in there. And That's then they crazy. Got, so Everybody was all right, happened, though? Yeah, from what I saw, everybody Good. was able to walk away, but Good. there's still people left in the ambulance, and their car was totaled. So, but the way it happened was, these uh, people were going straight down, and then it's a main street too for people who don't know. And this person ran the light, and when he hit them, the car turned around and went to the other intersection. And oh fucking shit! Like the, the, drive, the dad or whoever was driving got out, and he's like, "What the fuck?" He like stumbled, and like almost fell. It was just—it was Dude, sad. That's and scary. scary. Yeah, like, that's scary. Yeah. And it's funny because in the movies they make it seem like, <laughs> like everything happens like that, but yeah. it doesn't. Dude. No, that yeah, shit's it's like. Yeah. But then once it's like once it's over, it's just like everything speeds up. But what? Good thing everything's like. Good thing everybody's all right though, because that could have been like you could have seen like a head get decapitated and it would have changed you both. Killed kid. Yeah, I know it'd have been the worst. What was weird too is like right after that happened, so like all three of them were. We're like smoking cigarettes and stuff and all of a sudden like four people come up out of nowhere with drinks in their hand like alcoholic drinks and they went straight to those people and started talking to them yeah and they were like until the cops came and like started interviewing people that's when they left but it was like that we had me and my girlfriend had, yeah we were like they, and then they hello ran into their car because the other people were like going into the car grabbing stuff and yeah they're, they're like two of them ran into the, like the front seat and then those people came and they left so I'm like maybe they were drinking at their house because yeah they had, like where it was is like right next to that resident like oh know, oh yeah yeah, yeah. Has, over like, on sunset yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Has that, all those like apartments yeah like, houses that kind of buried you know, tucked away yeah, yeah tucked away behind so, everything so they definitely like just from like walking from there you know so so something they, yeah they were pulling something. some they were pulling some substances yeah. out of that bitch <laughs> somebody had a gun <laughs> either that or they had some fucking drugs and pills no they had drugs probably you could definitely tell he was drunk and yeah dude I mean. You always see me drinking on this podcast, but I'm here. Yeah, you stay the night. Yeah, you stay the night. Yeah, just be safe. Yeah, Yeah, they when when I lived in Sacramento, South Sac, um, I was sitting out. I don't remember what the street was. It's right when you get off the freeway, though. Um, We were sitting at a stoplight right next to where Kaiser is Mm -hmm. in South Sac, right? If anybody can imagine that or knows where that is. Um, and I'm sitting with my girlfriend and my girlfriends and my ex-girlfriends in the car at the time and we're sitting at the light waiting for it to go and this fucking car goes and this other car turns and they are hauling ass literally like T-boned because she whipped the corner thought she could beat him and he was uh, he was in the right of way it was green and she thought she could beat this light or something hit it she hit it and the way that they spoke bun or whatever mm. hit his car wrapped all the way around ours and crashed into it like the kaiser gate and like her car spun in like in place spun and uh, didn't go anywhere and i was like yo you gotta go park the car i gotta go help these people yeah. like nuts um that situation will change you for sure especially when you see because you watch movies and it's like she oh. got out the car by the way and was like it's all my fault and like almost fell <laughs> over i was like oh you're dumb <laughs> yeah Evidence. <laughs> well, first off, I guess apparently just until the very end, you're supposed to never admit it's your fault. Yeah, so, until the facts are present. Yeah. You just kind of like go, I don't know what happened. I'm, I need to recall. Yeah, because you never want to say something, especially like because it, maybe it was your fault. Could be incriminating. Was, yeah. Or, yeah. Or also maybe it wasn't your fault and the other person fucked up and you're like, oh, it was my fault. And Boom. Yeah, it's your fault. It was your yeah. fault. <laughs> and he's not the dozen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, dude, that shit's crazy, though. Just That's uh, good. I'm glad you guys are safe. That's yeah. scary. I don't know. Uh, my bad. I just need to take my, my battery. Okay. I don't know uh, what it is around uh, other places, but up here in Northern California, they have the little, I think it's called Prop 22, mm-hmm. which they're trying to do what I think what they did back in Europe a few years ago, where they, uh, the taxi drivers hated. Are they trying to? Is this the one where they're trying to eliminate independent contractors yeah. from uh, Uber, from Uber's yeah, and DoorDash, DoorDash and all that stuff. shit? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that one's crazy. My my homegirl does Lyft, and she's yeah, and I mean, she it, she's like after November it might not be here no more, and I'm like, which, which I'm, I'm like, it's crazy. I, I said like unemployment's about to go up. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Big time. Like like I said, dude, this election like I I don't care about the election because it's it's literally a throw up. I don't know. 
Or yeah. Like, like, it's a toss-up, I mean. Like, I don't know did what... You, did you see that commercial? That, but I am going to vote locally. Yeah. Did you see that uh, that that commercial that Trump did where he was like, I got out of the I hospital? I see on YouTube all the time, and, and it's he, hilarious. And it's dude, like, it, it, dude it, was, it's, it's like, it was such a joke. He got out of the hospital after he got COVID, right? And he was like, and now we have a... I think this is the name. Somebody, you'll look it up when editing, and you'll fix me if I'm wrong. I believe the name was Recover On. And I was like, what the fuck is Recover? This sounds like I'm in a sci-fi novel now. Right. And he's like, now we have Recover like on. Or yeah, like that. <laughs> dude. And he's like, now we have Recover on. Um, and it was like, I took it, and the next day I was better. And it was like he was selling this drug. Yeah, yeah and it almost felt like my first question was, Did you have, have it in the first place? Like, Yeah, dude. Like, okay, <laughs> like, did you even have it? Um are you trying to sell something? My I mean, last question being, are you invested in this recover on in some way? You, I mean, it's good publicity. Like, no, not Trump. He's going to die. Like, and they're like, all right, he's back. Trump, <laughs> he survived COVID. Yeah. Oh. Survive Anybody could survive it. If you can survive COVID, you got this election. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. He fucking... I swear, South Park needs to come back and make recover on like a shot that he takes every time he's near death. <laughs> and he's just he's like all windling and then he takes that recovering on he's like and it's recover on and it's recover on <laughs> yeah, I, it dude, works I seen that yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I seen that commercial and I was wondering if you see, well I'll show it to you later I don't know if I've seen it, it but I, I see like it's funny cause I never see I hardly ever see Joe Biden ads on YouTube but for whatever yeah. reason they just love to show me Trump ads and I'm like I don't watch them at all but yeah they, it's funny because I'm sure that probably triggers people to click on them and then they read the comments and they spend the next five hours talking to some, like, seven Useless people. Useless yeah, conversations, yeah. yeah. It's like, fuck you, no, fuck you, no, fuck you, no, fuck you. I wonder if that meant it turned off. Also, another thing, Lakers won. Did they? Dan's losing it, isn't he? Uh, probably, dude, fucking good, like I said, good uh, to Miami Heat, dude. To those dudes, they fucking battled it out. Jimmy Butler, they, uh... Those guys, Bam got hurt. They, they lost a few people, but uh, it was a good series, good finals. Good. One of my favorite things about it, though, because uh, LeBron was like, he's like, the Lakers organization deserves the respect. Uh, he was just like telling like, uh, like uh, Rob Palinka, like the general manager, like these players deserve the respect. And then he was like, and I want my damn respect too. And I was like, <laughs> God, God, I like, slap, <laughs> slap it hell. I was like, that's fucking LeBron. Yeah. Like, tell him, dude. But, Hell oh, yeah! Dude, it was so nice to watch that's that lit. Raise his fourth championship because I'm a big LeBron fan. That's dope. I, I, so I, I haven't even seen anything about that. The only thing I seen on anything social media NBA related was that LeBron grounded his son for smoking that blunt on Instagram Live. The belt. Yeah, that's yeah. What they call him. Oh, I, I thought his name's Bronny or something. Yeah, right? no, no. Yeah, Bronny Junior. But um, yeah, his name's LeBron. Just like oh, is oh, okay, the Bronny. Duh. Yeah. What? I'm sorry. But um, it's hilarious though because I guess that became a meme because he got caught smoking something like a cigar, or like weed or some shit, and everybody was like, because people well, say people they say Bron sexuals and they they call him like Le Bum. Le, le sucker, <laughs> like they, anything that could rhyme with LeBron. I love sports shit yeah, talk, like, bro. They just put le, but as that that le turned out to be something else to, um, the label. Like LeBron's mm. about to pull out. Like LeBelt's about. The, people are saying means like. Because he was smoking the cigar. He's going to pull out the LaBelle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brody's having uh, well, flashbacks. Yeah, from that, that's what I was saying was that the only thing I've seen about, that's weird that they didn't show me like games. I mean, the like game, because you the things I was seeing that were like trending were about how his son smoked the blunt and then he was supposed to do it. Yeah, he was smoking. Yeah, yeah. And then he was supposed to do a Call of Duty um, like Warzone event with Odell Beckham. And Who, Bron or Bronny Jr.? No, Bronny. Bronny. Really? Yeah, wow. he, he, had a, he had a Call of Duty event set up for, I think, Odell Beckham. <laughs> I think that's who that was. I may be mistaking who it was, um, but I think it was Odell Beckham Jr. And... Um, he didn't show up and all like these people were like you know like like making theories like lebron grounded him and i kept it now that you say that i did keep seeing people drop the la in front of things or yeah or, or le yeah the la belt thing yeah like it's hella funny now you say that makes a little bit more sense because I, I i don't ever just comment on shit i just like looking at stuff sometimes like see what the like chatter is oh i comment the fuck out of stuff I'm dude, one of those people you're a that, troll. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't troll, dude. I, yeah. I, I, tell, I tell facts. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody says. Troll. There's a, I'm speaking facts. 100 
One hundred percent facts. And then, and then you put, they, it's like it's like not my fault you don't know anything, and you put that little emoji. About, yeah. And then you put the fax machine. Yeah. <laughs> actually, no, but that's actually fucking good. Yeah. It took me a second to figure out. Yeah, the fax machine. Yeah, the fax machine. It's a fact. Fact. Is that even an emoji? It is. That's People always do it. Awesome. Yeah, dude, it's amazing. That. I love it. It hasn't caught on in the fucking basketball world at least. Oh, uh, it'll get there. Um. So. I guess moving on. Um, so, uh, games. I know, like, we talk a lot about games on this podcast, but I don't think I'm really going to bring anything up until uh, That's all right. after PlayStation and Xbox. Everything drops. Um, there are some games. The only other, the only games I can think of that are coming out, <coughs> games, or I guess the yeah, game I can think of that's going to come out, and it's still coming out next month, is, uh, I think it's next month, is uh, Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah, myself. yeah, yeah. Well, also, keep in mind that at the beginning of the year, the only other thing we haven't talked about is the 4K Nintendo that's yeah. coming to the Switch, the Switch oh, whatever, yeah, think, Switch Remix or Switch actually, Pro. Uh, did we talk about it on here? Or did you we did. You're right. I'm sorry. We did. No, yeah. I, I think, think we, we did. Did. Did, we, did we text it? I don't know. Oh, maybe we texted about it. Because I remember afterwards, you were like, dude. Because this, this I what, almost bought one, yeah. This is what sucks about when we make, I swear, every time we record our podcast, like the day after, or like the next couple I know, days, we learned something, drops, yeah. I'm like, what the we, fuck? You know what we really need to start doing? I should have my tablet set up on a news feed on IG for like games and every subject, like sports, every time we roll over them, so just in case I can sit here and look through, yeah. fucking, like an example, kind of random time, but I want to say a quick shout out real quick, um, rest in peace to Saint Dog from Cottonmouth Kings, they found him oh, dead in his home the other day. Hella sad. That's another Shit. rapper gone. He was 44. He had he was turning 45 in like a week or two, and they yeah. found him. They, they didn't find him dead. I apologize. That's wrong. His he was at a friend's house, and they found him having a problem breathing. By the time they showed up, they had pronounced him dead on the scene. So, uh, rest in peace, yes, Saint Dog, dude. R. You R. like he created the the grind urban um what's called rip rock rip rap um scene. So Cottonmouth Kings, you know who that is. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's one of like those big me- founding members kind of Jeez. thing for that. So yeah, they fa- they fucking he's dead, and I was rest in peace to him because that was definitely not what I wanted to read today. But in it, another that legend lost dude. Another one, another goat gone, bro. Like crazy to think. Like Covid is the grim reaper of years for for fucking sports stars, musicians, actors, normal people, everyday people. Like just crazy. Yeah, I mean. It's nuts when you live in a time like, when like Jake said, Paul dude. and Logan Paul can get famous. I mean, that's the craziest part of 20. No, no, I'm just kidding. I mean, shit. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. You see, he uh, did a, this was a while ago, it was like a month ago maybe now, but uh, he did a podcast on his podcast, Jake, Logan Paul. Yeah, lo- the with, uh, uh, um, in, in, um, Impulsive. Is that what it's called? I, Logan Paul's is called Impulsive, yeah. Dude, I wonder, I would love to like, I, I doubt ever, but like, if we could ever like have him on the podcast, I'd, I'd love to debate with him. Or at least like, him. we'll just like talk to him in general. Like, like mm-hmm. what was like growing up being like one of the first really social media stars? Like, because yeah. I remember. He How was, does like, it feel oh. having blonde hair, blue eyes during a civil rights movement <laughs> in America, and you sit around and go, and you and your little brother go out and raid fucking stores? That's what I'd ask. I mean, I, He'd I get feel pissed like, talking to me. I feel like his little brother's worse than him. Oh, no, Jake Paul's a fucking... Yeah. That guy's so egocentrical, and it's like, what bothers me is he made one song, and he didn't write for it, and I don't care about that, because he made the song, it's his, and it was good. I'm sure and like, like, more than 90% of the stuff they make, they don't do themselves. Well, so. yeah, they, but but I could get past that. I'm not big... Like, I don't care nowadays when someone's like, they didn't write it. I'm like, the song was good, though. Like, give love to the also song. Also, look who it is, like... Yeah, like yeah, he did, this kid didn't come from the hood. He made a song yeah. called "Fresh Out of London." And I told Disney I started on Disney. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's a reason they're talking about Calabasas and not Compton. Yeah, like it, come on, Calabasas, like that's crazy rich, dude. Like, um, anyways, I would love to talk with them because they there are some things like their fighting knowledge. I would love to sit yeah, there and discuss fights like, like sports with yeah. them. You know, especially he did two, dude. He did two boxing. Which uh, what? Which he's talking about both of them though. They both done boxing. I don't know about the. I know Logan Paul did that against that other YouTuber or whatever. K- you're talking about uh, Logan and Jake fought. Uh, no, no Logan. Logan fought KSI. Yeah. You're talking about KSI. Yeah. The, you're talking about the the rapper uh, yeah, black the dude rapper from rapper. UK. Yeah. Dude, he that fool's mean though. He's like KSI, yo, he, he. I think he's like. I don't know his height. It's like 
I almost just dropped the joke that's on his channel, and I was like, don't do that, because that's mean. Um, I think he's 5'11". I think he is like 5'10", 5'11". Yeah. But the joke is that he's actually like my height. Everybody's like, you're not really 5'11". <laughs> like, <laughs> um, or something like that. Maybe I got it in reverse. But from what I've seen, dude, that fool KSI has hands. But like, I don't know, like... I would love. I, yeah, that's a really good idea. I would like that too. Like to talk I mean, with them one the, one. It's a it's hypothetical. Like, yeah. One day maybe. Yeah. One, but like, I'm just saying, like to talk with those guys. They probably do have like a lot of like for yeah. being little like spoiled little brats, white yeah. kids. You know, like they they probably have knowledge though. Yeah, you know, been through a lot. Talked like a lot you said about the YouTube scene. Yeah, I mean, they also been around a lot of famous people too. So it's like probably seen some shit. Been to parties and shit. Spread Corona for sure. <laughs> As we pass a blunt. I know, right? But, uh, yeah, like, never, like, like these kids, I'm pretty sure this younger, like, these 21... 23-year-olds, like yeah. 18 to, like, 23-year-olds now could probably be like, yeah, I remember watching Jake Paul when I was in, like, middle school, high school, blah, blah, yeah. blah. But we were already older, and, like, what the fuck, like, why? Yeah, well, not the, not 23. It would have to be, like, it would have to be, like, like 18 to 21, yeah. because 23 is Jake Paul's age, and Logan Paul, mm -hmm. I think, is not much older than Jake. Gotcha. Um, I'm good off that actually right now. Here, here's a I got. any relatable thoughts to like, or like any thoughts to uh, what's that called? Cyberpunk? Like, I know we um, have. A sorry, I didn't mean to go off topic. No, um, that's good. Like this is this Cyberpunk. Is... I'm still not impressed, but I really, I really like Keanu Reeves. So I'll, I like, I'll, I'll check things out. They'll probably have a demo for it eventually. Um, I'll wait for. I told you how I felt about games this year, where I was like, I got back into a game mode and kept like getting new games, yeah. and I regret all, almost all of them. Like yeah. Tony Hawk's not one. For some reason, I still don't regret Skater XL completely because I'm holding my breath for it. Yeah. Um, what about Avengers? I heard that one got really like. I. A lot I haven't hated been, on it. I haven't been playing it, but what I played, I was in love with it. Like I was playing, I beat the game, and I was playing side missions probably for an additional like two weeks after I beat the game. So mm -hmm. the side missions are fun. You have a chance to lock, un basically unlock all the costumes. All the costumes yeah, you stuff. don't you don't necessarily have to pay for them. I don't is, think. Is there a new game plus or? A new what? New game plus, where you like start the game over with everything you have. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't I heard about. Yeah, I don't was. think so. Yeah, I don't because when I beat it, and when I beat the story, nothing like that came up. They just said keep playing, and I then I was like, but my characters aren't high, like leveled yeah. up. And then I read somebody saying you're supposed to play this game with like one character at a time is how they like if you're gonna uh, get the most of it, yeah. play it one at a time and then replay it with another character and yeah, replay yeah. it and build your and I'm like, after playing the side missions, I guess I haven't uh, played it that much lately. No, mm. so it's fallen off a bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but Cyberpunk, I'll wait until I'll, I'll, I won't. That's probably what I'll, I'll check out too. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll wait, but I, I'll keep my eye on it. Um, Game Pass has been getting like a lot of really good updates lately to me, where I'm like, mm. I don't even. They're combining with EA. Their <sighs> Game Pass is getting every so November. We get all the things that are on EA. Really? Yeah, we get all the sports games. We get all the fucking Star Wars games. It co it all comes to Game Pass because they they combined that mm. subscription and it's free if you're already paying for you it. What's hilarious is there's people that, but there's people that still like get super deep in those console worlds because yeah, worlds, like I looked at it and there's somebody was like, oh Xbox is blah 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 fucking this and that and people were like oh no PlayStation's this or PlayStation this and PlayStation that and I'm just like. Jeez, like, can't people just chill out? Yeah, or just like, buy what they want and like what they want. Like, I know. Not, and then somebody was trying to say, if you drop five hundred dollars, you can get top of the line. You can play any top of the line game for a PC. And I was like, that's not. That's true. not true at all. That is not. That's true. not true at all. Five hundred dollars yeah. is barely enough to build like a, an actual decent computer. Yeah. But on top of it, a top of the line one, you're far off. Yeah. There's there's components that go into that computer, graphic cards and CPUs that are almost $500 in themselves. Mm -hmm. Like that's a, a like crazy thought for someone to say that, but that's the naive world. Yeah. I mean, it, it, in the technology people, world people we live think in. They, know shit and, they want to speak up on something yeah. they don't know, yeah. Try to school people. Shit don't work like that, buddy. They'll get there. Yeah. Fuck Mortal Kombat. Mm. I don't know if you heard anything about it. They're still dropping DLCs and stuff, but they just dropped Rambo, what for a character? That's nuts. And it's actually voiced voiced by Stallone too. What? And they have Terminator. I seen that. I seen a Jason's in there. I think right. Is Jason in there? He was in the other one. Remember? Oh, that's right. That's right. So the, these um, newer ones. It's Ro oh, RoboCop. 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 Uh, Terminator, and then uh, Rambo. They just released. 
Yeah. And it's funny because people are like, that's going to be so cool to see, like, because you know how they have, like, special quotes? Yeah. Um, I don't, did you know about that? Mortal Kombat? Thought, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So they have, like, people are, like, really excited to see, like, Terminator versus Rambo and all this stuff. And, like... It's cool that Mortal Kombat's still jiving. Yeah, dude, they're doing good. And uh, it's one of the... I think it's probably, like, the like the third, maybe biggest fighting game right now. Yeah. Maybe the second, third. Hey, it's, it's, it's a top five, definitely. I have a question about fighting games, actually. Like, uh... But uh, I, I'll bring it up after the Mortal Kombat talk. Uh, well, it's it, it's a Dragon Ball Z one. Mm-hmm. So I was reading about Dragon Ball. Uh, I almost called it Kakarot Goku, <laughs> right? Um, it did. It, from what I read, it seems like that game's like you play more as Gohan. You're talking about Kakarot, Dragon Ball Z. Kakarot? Oh, it is called Kakarot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was called Goku. Yeah, yeah Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Ka- Kakarot. Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like you play more as Gohan, from what reviewers yeah. are saying. Honestly, okay. Because I get because I read the story of what the game is, mm-hmm. and it's literally everything I've just been watching. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. from Dragon Ball Z up till like the Majin Buu saga, and then something else. I I think right. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is what I explain to people what that game is. It's for true, like legit fans of Dragon Ball Z. Like the story. Well, not only the story. Yeah. But the JRPG style kind okay. of of like leveling up, grinding. Like um, oh, farming, oh I see, like, okay, not yeah, farming, yeah. but like literally foraging for stuff, yeah, like doing side quests. I seen that, stuff yeah, to, like, I seen that. Food and do all this stuff. It's not meant to be like, oh, I'm dra- playing Dragon Ball Z and now I'm gonna fucking beat up Cell the whole time, yeah, or beat or up or the, like, the, the I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play as whoever I want. Yeah, because you can't <clears throat> play as whoever you want, sadly, but you could have um, the five main characters is like Piccolo, Krillin, uh, Piccolo, Gohan. Um, Future Trunks, I think, Goku and Vegeta. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, and um, well, because the only thing that like the way that the reviewers were describing it, I just was like, oh, so this is like entirely Gohan. But I, my very you, first you thought, plays Gohan most of the time. But my very first yeah. thought was, well, in defense of the people who made the game, mm-hmm. dude, the Dragon Ball series is literally almost entirely about Gohan. If yeah. you, if you, dude, I've been watching every single episode, like back <laughs> yeah. to back, like. You literally are, it's literally so focused on Gohan for the longest time up until the Majin Buu saga comes out in uh, Vegito or Gogeta. Which Vegito. one is It's Vegito who, yeah. because they do the fusion dance, right? No, they, no, 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 they do the earrings. Patara rings. What is it? Patara. Well, I thought it was the earrings yeah, in that episode. Rings. Oh, that's what yeah. they're called. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they use the earrings up until that moment. Is literally like almost entirely like a Gohan story yeah, if you like, actually watch it because yeah. it's, I mean, I think people it's just because like it's Goku Kakarot, but I think it's because once you beat the game, I think it's his story, like it, all the like it I is, like because that's how it seemed to me. And to me, I I really enjoyed it. I beat it twice. Did you? Yeah. You, the last uh, the and last time I asked you about it, you said you were like this game's so fucking long, but you beat it twice. No, 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 Something no. Something must have changed. The, the the walkthrough I tried to do was hella long. Oh, yeah. oh I never yeah. finished that one because yeah. I I uh, I lost footage and I like had to like, go <laughs> it was back. A disaster. And, yeah, so I was just like, fuck this, I'm I'm done. But uh, that game I had really fun with. So technically, I almost beat it three times, uh, with the, including the playthrough, but. It was really fun. I enjoyed like grinding, getting all the little fight. Cause I know, like, I don't know if they up like what it is now, but if, if we play that game right now, I can show you all like the little, the hidden secrets where to get fucking um, the the special like certain ingredients to um, make legendary foods. And I literally have a bunch of the the recipes in the game. You wrote down all the ingredients and stuff? Ah, I have it all over here, dude. Do you? Yeah, I can, oh, if we played shit. that game right now, yeah, I can I, tell you like I read, almost I literally read, of, maybe not like 80%. I, I literally read the reviews and they like, that was my one thing. I was like, but isn't, if it's based on what the storyline is, then it makes sense that you yeah. would play as Gohan because you literally, from the episode when Raditz arrives up until Majin Buu, it's, there's a good amount of Gohan in that series. It's also really easy to just run through that game really fast if you don't do it. Is it just, just skip play, shit? If you just do the story, main storyline, but like if you really want to like learn moves, get strong, learn transformations, yeah. get like um, uh, just like little items and stuff like buffs and healing items, and there's just so much to it. To where I was like, when I tell people, like, you have to be a true, like, fan of Dragon Ball Z and those kind of open world games where it's like, it's not like GTA where you just go around 
fucking blowing people up and blowing shit up on yeah there's a reason want. yeah there's like, a story there's like yeah and there's yeah. like little like oh this is where goku's house like you know i see so you're familiar with their, their grandpa gohan's house is I this see. is goku's house and this is piccolo's place this is where yamcha lives this is oolong's house that's interesting you know what i mean this is where it, uh, i think it was on sale tournament and stuff I, and I think it was on sale and that's kind of like why i got like i was like and you know i don't know if you're like this but do you ever play something that is you either play or i mean sorry do you ever watch something that there are games for? You just watch it, like, in example, Resident Evil, right? Just hypothetical yeah. real quick. But you just ever watch something, yeah. and then it make you want to play the fucking game? Yes. Dude, that way, it's it's like that for any Predator movie with me. Every time yeah. I play it, I'm like, fuck, now I want to play Concrete Jungle or uh, Alien vs. Predator. Like, um, um, the, there's, the one for me is, uh, it's always Half-Life, Half-Life 1 or 2. Every now and then mm. I'll watch that. But I played Half Life. You, you're the one who actually showed me. I was me just going to say, do you remember playing yeah. that on my computer with me? I remember me? you were like, dude, this, I don't remember exactly how it brought yeah. I spent the night. And you're like, I don't know how you got it, but you're just like, It was my dad's. Yeah, yeah. was it? Yeah, because my dad used to play it. And, I, and, he, and once I got old enough to make my own. That was his thing. He was like, you can have a PC when you can make one. Because I remember. So, uh, what, what was and he gave me those games. What's his name? Uh, our seventh, I might still have him. Our seventh grade, Mr. Mr. Long or Mr. Are you talking about the computer teacher? Yeah. Uh, I forgot his name. He was the one that would always go like this. He'd always go. And he, used to, he used to be in the army and everybody yeah. was like scared of him because he's like. Because he'd always, because he had like the Tourette or th- something yeah. like, or what, whatever that's Probably called. Taking Adderall or some shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm all trying to give it a medical reason. In reality, that dude just like <laughs> railed a line of blow. <laughs> probably. He's probably fucking teachers there too. Mr. Levy was, or whatever, not right. Levy, uh, Mr. Uh, the, the, the teacher, the art teacher. Was such a stoner, dude. Yeah, I remember that guy was such a stoner. Yeah. Hilarious. He was. He was. I remember everybody always called him gay. So like, if he ever got like, if he was ever held nice to you, everybody was like, no. He at the other. You know what's funny is I was on Facebook one day and I seen not the other day. This might have been like a while back, but oh, somewhere in like the recent past. Yeah. So I logged in and somebody posted up and he was doing an art gallery. That art teacher was doing an art gallery in downtown. Was it like? Mr. Memoring or something? Mr. Memory, I think, is his name, yeah. Or uh, Memoring, yeah, or something like that. But I remember... uh, Sounds like an alias. I don't like (laughs) it. Mr. Waldo was that dude's name, right? Mr. Mr. Waldo, Waldo, because everybody would always be like, where's Waldo? I need to talk to him. Uh, He, uh... I remember didn't like you got hella close with him and he ended up giving you uh, uh, all, and he was like you can com- have any of the computers in here yeah, the and I ended up taking I think away. I think I took two home thinking I could like upgrade one using you both you had a couple Pentium ones or yeah they're like Pentium or twos yeah. or ones yeah because they upgraded all of the that's right it was a Pentium one or two or three something like that because they upgraded to Pentium fours yeah and Whoa, just toss we're them out. old, bro. Right, all right. Uh, anyways, that's uh, when I remember you started getting the computer, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I carried those computers home from Mitchell. But like, I, I fucking, I got home and I was. And that's a long I, fucking way. Dude. <laughs> I know. Anybody doesn't know that's a long. I know, way. dude. I think that's. I think that at the end, that's I ran into right Geneva's there. mom, it's and she gave me a ride uh, up the street. Like it was like right at the end, I think. Um, that's dedication right there, dude. Hell you yeah! Like lug those. And those mo- dude, they were. Jeez, like, I know, dude. Like no, ass- not the monitors. I oh, had monitors at home. I had okay. just those the towers, I and I was like, like, I'm pretty sure I took two of them because you're he was just skating hell slow. I wasn't skating. I was walking. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember holding them, and like they kept slipping. I'd be like, if I get home, dude, I have a new computer. Like, fucking hey, dude, my dad will be like, oh shit, you got new computers. I'll be like, they're old ones, but it's a start. <laughs> hey, back then, that, that it was a come up. Today, that's like getting like a fuck, like if you have no phone or anything, you and then getting a tablet. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's like shit. Hell yeah, yeah. hell it's yeah, like, dude. dude. With the the Rambo on Mortal Kombat, is there any uh, '80s or '90s characters, movie stars you'd like to see just like you come back in, or just thrown into the Mortal Kombat universe? Hellraiser. I mean, uh, Pinhead. That'd be a good one. Yeah, Pinhead comes to mind. Um, I, I have a few here. Yeah, uh, name them. I'll come up with a couple. So I got Steven Seagal. John Claude, John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, those are dope. <laughs> uh, so you want to see like action stars? You said. Yeah. Okay, I see. Okay. So I'll go, Chuck yeah. Norris or like Texas Ranger. Uh, if he's in it, he has to have a fake towdy where a fist comes out of the beard. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be so dude. lit, bro. Oh, I would buy the game just for him. Those those are like the first memes that remember ever that? came out. Yeah. yeah the Chuck Norris stuff. Those are the yeah. First, those are the first memes ever. Yeah, I, I, I hell remember those. Uh. Mel Gibson, where he could be, uh... He'd put you on the crucifix? <laughs> he could be the... What's the He's what's like, I hate Jews! 
<laughs> that's what his that fatality. He was like, who's going to shit on me or something like that? You twist my nipples. Yeah. Spit on me. Call me a whore. <laughs> oh, God. That's, that's hella crazy. funny, bro. What about the Highlander, Mel Gibson? Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there is only one. <laughs> uh, fucking. But uh, what's one that I was just thinking of? Um, Bruce Lee would be dope if they put one in hit Bruce Lee in there. He's not a '90s, I know, but '70s, no, no, '80s, '70s, '60s, yeah, yes, '70s, yeah. yeah. Um, Bruce Lee. Um, James Bond would be a cool one. Oh, right. that would be dope. I would like also. Uh, oh, what was that dude's name? Um, he played He Man in the movie. The 80s one, Dolph Lundgren. Ooh. Yeah, it'd be dude, lit. He, oh my He's God. a big dude. Imagine if they put him in a, just any kind of Dolph Lundgren movie. From any like, of them, yeah. And then they have the interaction with uh, Rambo, and he's like, I feel like we've fought before. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So any other guys? Because I, I still have some written down. But. Um, I'd like to see Donnie Yen. He's the guy who does Ip Man. He played Ip Man. Oh, yeah, that dude, he was one. in Star Wars, uh, the... Whatever movie That's that was, right. Re- Rebel he's, One. He's like the the real life. Uh, what's the not the not the Bruce Lee the other dude? He Jet it Lee. Man. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Like real life Jet yeah Lee he's a, yeah uh, yeah. It Man was the guy who trained Bruce Lee in real life. That's right. That's yeah, yeah, it man, man. yeah, yeah. It Man. Yeah, yeah. But Donnie Yen played him in the movies, okay. and one of the biggest compliments I ever heard about a, another actor giving to Donnie Yen. I don't remember who said it, but it was on. Um, like an interview that IMDb had posted mm-hmm. and they somebody had said that he with like a fighting background or something they were talking about Donnie Yen and they said that he has he is the fastest on screen fighter in Hollywood or in Bollywood or in eight, like whatever the Chinese yeah. market one is um, he's the fattest fastest on screen <laughs> fighter that he's that quick like he's he's actually pretty brutal I heard uh, he, he's like comes out he's like <laughs> he throws yes, a punch so <laughs> <laughs> throws one punch and just everybody in the room's gone <laughs> just the fucking weight from his arms <laughs> he whips them out there the whole room shakes poor guy um that's a good one dude cause uh I, I was thinking about putting Bruce Lee but I was like mm, cause I put Chuck Norris so yeah Danny Glover. Oh shit! From Predator. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I was yeah. thinking too. The Predator one. That'd be perfect, dude. For him versus Terminator, fans would lose their shit. Oh, dude. And that's why, I, like, uh, so what's the other one? Uh, Lethal Weapon. Him. And that's another Mel, one. Gibson Mel Gibson and Don- yeah, that's another one. Those would be perfect. People would love that. Um, I actually have some funny ones too. Uh, oh, so Harrison Ford. So he could be Han Solo or... Or, uh, yeah, a guy from Whatchamacallit. Indiana Indiana Jones. Yeah, Indiana Jones. uh. That'd be a good one. Um, Sigourney Weaver from Aliens. That'd be pretty funny. There's a a chick character you could add. That'd be hella dope if she she was from Aliens and she could throw face huggers at you. Yeah, that'd be be her fatality. Oh, shit. And the alien alien calls out. out. Like, goes on her like a... Oh, shit, shit, dude. Damn, we're really good at Hire the us. I know. Yeah, dude, we're really good at like thinking of characters I in these know. fucking games, man. Um, that's pretty funny. We uh, sent some uh, characters like it and uh, yeah. I remember that when we. But I never thought of action stars. That's pretty fucking good one, dude. That's a good one. And Ash, Ash is another one. Ash. Yeah, because I remember we said a- I remember we said um, it and Chucky. They tried. They, with all those ones, they tried. They just couldn't get the rights. Yeah, fuck no, they couldn't. They, they, it's like the Scooby Doo thing, man. Yeah, true, right. So I got a couple more. Um, I have a few more, so I'm just gonna name them off real quick. So Eddie Murphy from uh, Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> That'd be lit. Uh, Patrick Swayze from Ro- 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 As long House. as he's like Roundhouse Roadhouse yeah. every single time, that'd be hella funny. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Yeah, that'd Blade, be interesting. Starship yeah. Troopers or Jackie Chan. Okay, Starship Troopers is like my favorite one out of all of those. Jackie right. Chan would be dope, but it's kind of like the Bruce Lee one. And with Chuck Norris being in there, you'd, I guess you'd have to see how Chuck Norris would do. Yeah. Like his character, I mean. Yeah. Um, I hell like those, though. I, yeah, I like those a lot. Uh, Wesley Snipes is a really good one for sure, but with Blade. Yeah. But that's Marvel. They'll never allow it. <laughs> True, yeah, they never allow that character, sadly. But they got Spawn and they got Joker, yeah. so so I don't know if you heard about this one, but uh, it's called a uh, Gen- Genshin Impact, and you've probably seen it before on ads on your phone, but it's a mobile game, mm-hmm. and um, it's it's been pretty popular. And you know, I was like, you know, I keep on seeing ads for it. It looks pretty interesting. Dude, are know. you sponsored by them? 
That's what yeah, this feels like. He's like, I got to tell you something. Don't yeah. forget to download. Every time you download, <laughs> use username schnerd36. You get the free bonus. No, <laughs> if you use the word schnerd today, <laughs> right? you get 30%. Today. Only today. <laughs> Only today. This will be uploaded tomorrow. <laughs> so tomorrow. Just keep using the code. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> <laughs> so, so real quick, I guess before I pop this up, what is what is your thoughts with like mobile games in general? Like, have you had any good experiences, or do you just don't fuck with them at all? Or um, I've had a couple, but they were like <coughs> they had this one game called like Marvel Fighters that I played pretty much on my phone a lot yeah. a long time ago. Um, and then on my tablet, I play Mario. Uh, the what is it called? It's uh, it's called Mario Run. Yeah. Have you ever played it on your phone? I was going to, but then I found out it wasn't like it was just like one of those things where you had to pay. To oh, play. you do eventually, yeah. yeah. But if you like, the the first like few maps are free, and I'll just play it. But no, I don't. I haven't had good luck with games. Yeah. Unfortunately, no. I'll, I'll, yeah. Because do you remember uh, Call of Duty when they made the the app? Yeah, yeah. Did Warzone you ever try it out? for Warzone. No, just the Call of Duty um in general. Just they had a Call of Duty that you can. Play. Uh, I haven't seen it. Dude, well, you like it? No. I played it for like I downloaded and played it just to see what it was like, just because it was Call of Duty on the phone, and just, it looked. It, it was literally like, what'd you expect? Like top down click to get no, move. No, it, or... it was first person. And it was like everything, like hold it like this, and you know what I mean with the controls like that. But it was like fifteen frames. That's Garbo. That yeah, no, like. I don't like it at all. I don't like games like that, like where they try to mod them to the phone. It'd be like if you were like, so since you're so used to playing Halo. It'd be like you're so used to playing Halo, and all of a sudden your Xbox shits out, and you play PSP, and you play a PSP game online. It's That's why, I remember that day, when we were playing games, and we were like on your account, and you're like, let's just download stuff, mm -hmm. and you downloaded San Andreas, and I was like, what in the fuck is this? I do not remember this game being this clunky, and mm -hmm. it... No, it was always like that. It's probably better with the the re-release, but even still close to the original. I remember I couldn't figure out how to play that game. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, remember you used to have to hold a button to lock your targeting to, yeah. like, free roam? Yeah. And that was what threw me off. I was like, I don't remember it being like this. Like, yep, I, yep. So check this out, dude. I played it for, like, I played the first half of, like, two hours. So, I thought now that you see some gameplay and all that stuff. It is pretty addicting. It's fun. It's one of those games where it's like, it's crazy to see how far phone gaming has come and how actually good it can actually be. Yeah, you know? yeah. And um, this is one of those games I honestly recommend anybody who is a gamer and likes to play games to literally check out because this game is pretty, it's, it's really fun. Great graphics like you saw. Yeah. It runs crisp as long as you have a good phone to run it. Um, or tablet or whatever. Uh, apparently, it's on the PlayStation uh, market. What, what's it called? Uh, Genshin Impact. Huh. Voice acting's on point. Storyline is pretty cool from what I've from what I've seen because I played probably like I got up to like the second chapter or some shit, whatever it is. The world, it's an open world. It looks. Dope. Oh, it's open world. Yeah, Holy open shit! World. Is it a sandbox or is it just a a world like you know See, like I'm, GTA? I haven't played too much since to be able to game. answer. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So, but so there's awesome. still some mysteries it, to be solved. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. dope. That's dope. Then that's a good but thing. I, this is one I think I, you or any like I think you would have fun. Like yeah, I'll check it out. Put it on my tablet. More than one of those games you'll just play for like two minutes when you're taking a shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's yeah. not like one of those games where like oh, I'm gonna here's a commercial like you're watching TV like oh a commercial like oh, I'm gonna play this like swipe, yeah. swipe 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 click click tap tap tap. It's definitely not one of those games. It's one yep. of those things where it's like an actual game you can play. Okay, because I fun. I was gonna say because the game Mario Run I play is that's all I get it yeah. for is when I'm watching stuff and I'm just like boop 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 boop. boop. Like I just yeah. don't care. Like because I, I don't care. I know that eventually it won't be free anymore. Yeah. And I'm like I'm just using this for the, like I'll uninstall this as soon as you try to charge me. Like I'm not into that. And that's but I want to play. I want to play that. That looks fun. And I I'm pretty sure they probably have like microtransactions on this yeah, game. Yeah. They for sure will. It to me this shows me it kind of changes the phone landscaping yeah phone landscaping in a way because it shows that like like we were talking about you don't need to tap tap swipe swipe yeah whatever. now you it's can, actually you're controlling yeah it. i like, could actually play this and spend yeah. maybe a few hours playing this 
phones are so powerful. I feel like that we could put them in a spaceship and we'd be good, bro. Yeah, like, five hundreds of them. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Fucking a one for the one for uh, the where you are, the positioning. One for you know right. what I mean. Your oxygen, you'd be good, bro. Yeah. They're cheap enough. They're, that'd probably be less than paying for like a real spaceship. For real, it probably would. Be. You get like ten iPhones or ten tab. I mean, galaxies. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Dude. For each device. No, we're just fucking around. No, I remember. Honestly, I remember a long time ago. There was a. There's people who thought that um. If you like, Iraq was like trying to buy like 700 PS3s at the time, because if they like took it all apart and made. Like, oh, I remember this they were story. To, like, make yeah. Their, like, own supercomputer out of PlayStation. Out of PlayStation. Hell, of funny. I remember that story. I think yeah. that maybe it might have been fake. No, it probably <laughs> was. And it was just one of those things I got out there. But um. One thing I will knock on that game, though, is it's kind of a uh, Breath of the Wild, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, is it? Is yeah. it? Yeah. Like, a lot of the mechanics and open world is kind of the same. So oh. It's not original. Yeah, it's not as original. It's yeah. kind of like they change the characters and the landscape a little not, bit. Not the characters or anything, but, like, when you watch, like... Like, I'll show you Breath of the Wild, and then I'll show you gameplay yeah, later yeah. on. And then you're talking about like, Breath of the like, Wild like the on mechanics, Wii U, right? The mechanic the On Wii mechanics. U? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or the Switch. Or the Switch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, they were on both, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was on both, yeah. They remastered it for the Switch, didn't they? So no, they no. Kind of. I don't they, think they, they did. They were, they're going to release it for the Wii U, and then they're like, wait, we're going to release the Switch. I see, then, I see. Okay, that's what happened. And okay. people got mad, and they like, ended up doing it. Because uh, that's the one that I wanted when I was talking with you last time about So it is for the Wii U, but they when they were installed it for the Switch. I see. So people I see. would have just buy it for the Wii U. And, mm. You know what I mean? They wanted to have a release date game for, for yeah. the Switch. But, um, yeah, this game... Um, Can you imagine Zelda in Mortal Kombat, by the way? That'd be lit. He was in... Which I'm surprised they let him in... Uh, Smash Brothers? Well, of course, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry, <laughs> that was an asshole. So Calibur. So Calibur. Oh, that was a long time ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, they had Yoda, Darth Vader on the PlayStation. Had, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was. No, cause it, it was Spawn, Yoda, and uh, I think the next one they had they had Darth they had Vader. Vader. Yeah, they had Vader. Yeah. They had Spawn, um, Yo- Zelda, Zelda. Yeah, they had Spawn for the Xbox, Zelda for the uh, GameCube, and uh, Yoda for the PlayStation. That's which crazy. Is pretty unique. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. That, that's, that's a good how idea. You fucking market right I there. know that's a good. At, you need all three consoles <laughs> for our game. Like, that's like me when I bought the PlayStation. I literally bought it for Spider Man. Right. Like, I was like, okay, I'm buying this four hundred dollar console for <laughs> fucking Spider Man. This is ridiculous. What should we call it? We were talking about Dragon Ball Z earlier. So hold on, did you just go? What should we call it? What should we call it? What all right, call it? I see you. It's like saying uh, butter. Butter. But, you're like, but, uh, but it's butter. You go, butter. <laughs> Dude, your swag level's off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. B- uh, butter. 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 <laughs> um, Swagtastic. So, you said, how far are you on Dragon Ball Z? Um, let's see. Last episode I watched was. They are inside of Majin Buu's stomach. Okay, so you're pretty much not too far from Kid, uh, Kid Buu. Yes, like so, super close, like right around the like corner. You're, you're literally probably like 20, 30 episodes away from mm. the ending. No, it's like, uh, yeah, 20, it's about 20. Not 30, it's about 20. Cause you're, it's you're like right there. Epi- for me, what I, how I'm watching it's like 276, I think is what I'm on, and there's 300, I think, or two, or 299. So I'm about 20, yeah. It's pretty okay. close, yeah. So, um, give me your full thoughts of everything so far, dude. This is what I wanted to do last time, but we really yeah. couldn't because you're... Yeah, right. how far do you want me to go back? Or do, what, what do you mean by that? Like, my full thoughts. Just, like, what do you... Your full thoughts of, like, the progression from, um, Raditz to Vegeta. Oh, the character development. I mean, yeah, the, the different characters the and stuff. And All the, the way up to arts. where I'm at now. Yeah. Yo. In defense, like I said earlier, of uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the story is a lot about Gohan. Yeah. Like, um, Gohan gets kidnapped in like the first episode of Z. So, <laughs> yes, and then like then he be then he goes beast mode, and then it's continuous that like Goku's a beast, but he's like he loves his son, yeah. and he always like builds him up and makes him even greater, yeah. and it's like hella beast mode. Um, I loved from Raditz 
that was what got me hooked more into it because seeing the what I used to think of not having watched it mm-hmm. I used to think that Goku was always like the unstoppable force but seeing Raditz just mop him up I was like oh so there's like crazy story yeah. to this I better watch it and just so, real quick though just you gotta remember because this was after Ball so the only person who was an alien or demon or whatever was so Piccolo wasn't yeah, it and at that time nobody yeah. even thought he was an alien he was just a demon yeah and so when Z came in that's when they were like they really expanded the yeah, world like there's, yeah like there's a universe of these people so yeah, yeah no I definitely uh, they hint at the, they show flashbacks a lot of mm. that of Dragon Ball yeah. from uh, the 80s like 86 I think right yeah. or something like that it's um, pretty old. <laughs> it is, but it, I just only didn't watch it because from what I've seen in Dragon Ball Z, the first episodes had every, like, ten episodes, there was a big flashback to the World Tournament. Yeah. And, uh, and then, really and then when the, yeah, and then when the andro- androids come, um, they specifically have flashbacks to Dragon Ball with the Red Ribbon Army or whatever. Yeah. So, like, you basically get to re-watch Dragon Ball in you a summarized version. Yeah, you get the gist of it in Dragon Ball Z yeah. um, which I really liked because I had known s- so much from that previous series just hearing you guys talk yeah. Um, so yeah dude the characters are dope my favorite like my favorite so far <sighs> it's a tie and it's a good tie between Cell Games and the Boo Saga okay. because the Boo Saga when not they made me like Hercule for a second, <laughs> like for a second. Him and Majin Buu's relationship, that, yeah. yeah. I was like, I like this, that and then, um, cool. and then I was mind fucked when they went into his stomach and they were like, let's separate. And I was like, I knew you could separate. One of you are dead, like, because yeah. Vegeta's dead the whole time. Remember, I don't know if you remember that. Vegeta's dead during that time when yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he got yeah. brought back by King yeah. King Yemma. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love how you know this. Yeah, dude, because I just, I I watch, like, because I don't just binge watch them. I'll get high and watch, like, 15 episodes, and I'm not doing other things. I'm, like, into it. That's why. We should should watch some of the movies so you can see, like. Dude, hell yeah. I want to. Because it's canon, and then you can see, like, the little spots where they're supposed to be in between the arcs and stuff. Yeah, like, is Broly, the Broly series like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why, that's why when you were, like, when me and you talked, and I was, like, so I watched Super Next. The only reason I knew that was because I was looking at when Super was released and then, like, looking at all the movies. Mm. And I was like, oh. So yeah. they, like, they, it's like Ben said, they wanted to stop at one point and they kept going and then they did stop and then they put a bunch of filler shit in, yeah, like, uh, movies and stuff. Hence why the uh, Lord, the, the Beerus movie is so long and, like, stretched out. So, um, so... Sorry, what, I didn't mean what, to no, go. no, no, well, no. Um, what, what did you think of uh, Gohan turning Super Saiyan two? Like a, uh, are you talking? Oh, you're talking about actual Super Saiyan two? Yeah, Super Saiyan 2 in the a Saiyan, they called it. My bad. For the first few episodes, Goku's the one that makes He's up the sending. one two. Yes, dude, I was so confused. I was like, "Where's one two and three? Like, <laughs> no, for real. Like, I was so confused. And then Goku was teasing Boo and was like, "I like to call this three and That's two. And, yeah, and I was like, "Oh, now I get it." Um, go on turning go uh, Saiyan two Super Saiyan two was it was cool, but I was already burned out on Gohan's character mm. from um, when he fucked up killing Cell when he uh, like when he decided to go was, further yeah. and it was like okay we get it he's like, like just trying to fuck with him he's like no he no, deserves he to be he, he no he deserves to be miserable or yeah. su- he deserves to suffer let him heal well, and he re heals and I'm like. Would you, would you think that when he, like, kicked him in the stomach and he threw up Andrew at 18? That was fucking gnarly. Right? That was, like, there's a couple things in this anime that I don't get to see in new animes, like, on Netflix. Characters always flipping each other off. Grandpa He's, fucking, what's his name? Roshi. Super, by the way. Oh, yeah, imagine. And yeah. Roshi, Roshi is a fucking rapist like yeah hardcore yeah. rapist he's like, a it's, perver- he's like he's like the biggest pervert dude there's things that he does that are like okay you legit expect like oh i felt the ass or i fell into the and then there's things that he does that i'm like how did they get away with this and the answer was because this was in america this is, Japan. <laughs> yeah. this is the place where motherfuckers just whip their dicks so, out yeah just like they like, flick the like old. They literally dry hump the fuck out. They flick on the, the old bean bag. <laughs> <laughs> on the train. <laughs> on the train. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Um, they, they uh, both have bean bags. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
We're going straight to hell. But uh, <laughs> him throwing up Android uh, 18 was fucking nuts. Yeah. Like, I didn't expect... I thought they were gone. Because, like, for yeah. sure, I thought they were gone. Um, and then I did not expect Krillin and her to have a kid. When yeah, when, he, when they wished... When he wished them to be human, I was like, whoa. Okay, this is funny. Though. I remember... This is probably one of the first times I ever, like... Was like, oh my gosh, that was Goku, really? Where, uh... He was like, "Watch out, everyone! Android 18s here." When he came back, to I side. know, dude. And everybody's like, "Uh, Krillin's yeah, we know. fucking her." <laughs> yeah, like Krillin is smashing her. Like, yeah. yo, Midget got a blonde, like a hot blonde. <laughs> so, this is what this is what I wanted to bring up. So you're not finished with it. So next episode, so next time we'll talk and see how the Bru saga is, and maybe you'll be on the super by that point. Um, yeah. But you, you enjoyed Z so far, and like, dude, hella yeah, much, dude. I wouldn't good. have like gotten to episode near three hundred and been like, I hated <laughs> right? it with all the fillers um, too. Yeah, I watched all the fillers, yeah. and some of them I liked. The cell games you did had it the right way then. Yeah, like I, I watched, I did it luck, like like being lucky. You yeah. know what I mean? Because like the way that I hear, like it was watched because I didn't have cable, so I never got to watch that growing up. The way that it sounds like you got to watch it kind of sounds like it was so confusing it like for at some points because yeah. when i watch it i'm like well if this wasn't back to back i'd be so lost like and like if you missed cause sometimes like back then you'd have school so you have to stay a little later so yeah. you come home and you're like oh i missed this episode yeah but the way it was is like they'd show two ap- episodes a day for like from like monday to, fr- uh, to friday oh so it was like if you missed an episode or two you don't know what the fuck happened. And yeah. it's, not, it's not like today Mm-mm. where it's like you could... You could just go online. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's not like... That's... And it wasn't around that time when they started doing TiVo and all that shit. You had to be like kind of rich or like... Yes. TV, like yes. You, you, that, at that time, that was cable. a high class like... You're, like, you're saying like I was like... Priv- like I was privileged enough to have cable and stuff, but like other people... No, they had... They, had, so there was they like, could record live there's TV. There's levels, I guess, but yeah. There was... Like it's not like today where it's like if you miss it you could just watch it online or just read reviews or whatever. Just Hell yeah. Just record it. Like if you miss it you're just like fuck. I have to wait till tomorrow or next week or you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. To finish this off with some talk, straight talk. What of uh, some news finally came out. We were talking about Marvel and everything. Um, some Spider-Man news came out and sadly, dude, because I remember you brought this up and you're really excited for it. Daredevil is not going to be playing yeah. as yeah. yeah as his lawyer yeah, as so, like I originally thought. But it's still a toss up just to if or Disney wants to bring him back or not, uh, mm-hmm. like that those series back or not. So at least for now, no hope lost. Yeah. Um, but fingers crossed for yeah. Daredevil to come back. That would be the fucking Especially highlight. That actor. Yeah, dude. Um, what is it, Matthew Cox? <laughs> Matthew likes Cox. <laughs> <laughs> That's his full first name is Matthew we're Likes Cox. <laughs> <laughs> and we're about to do shrooms. <laughs> um, and there will be a podcast for that, by the way. Or <laughs> at least recordings of it. Now we know how our parents feel. <laughs> yeah, dude, being in the 60s, 70s, living life. What the fuck? Your mom never did shrooms. I know. Nah, I, know. I was I just, know. maybe like, your dad, you? but you're not your mom. I d- your dad, but your dad seemed maybe, like he was. He was maybe sm- my dad got, did some shit that he would never admit, but. Yeah, he's like, it's all about Jesus now, son. <laughs> I seen Jesus. I seen Jesus on shoes. And he's like, you get the most pussy. <laughs> if you're on shoes when you die, you go, you get way more pussy in heaven. <laughs> Going to Jesus school. <laughs> <laughs> um. So another thing too is uh, this dude, uh, his name is like Michael Mon- Mundu, M- Michael Mondo, something like that. He's uh predicted to play. Scorpion. Uh, you ever seen Better Call Saul? Yeah. Uh, the Mexican dude. The uh, in the first couple seasons. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like he's yeah. like one of the main one of the main ones in the yeah, first yeah, yeah. W- first one and two, right? The first one. Seems like Taco or some shit like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know what so you're talking about. That dude might play uh, Scorpion. Um, Interesting. And then we talked about Electro maybe being Jamie Foxx coming back, which is seeming like a real thing now. Yeah, so he's definitely coming back. Um, there was a tweet. I found, like, I was looking through videos and, like, digging some information. There was a tweet that got posted, and it showed two different Spider-Mans standing next to each other. Mm-hmm. And it got deleted, like, an hour later or something like that. Oh, yeah. But people were throwing the controversies out were like, is this Spider-Man 3? With Doctor Strange 
Oh. And WandaVision. Yeah. Setting up a Spidey verse or a multiverse so, where they all can I heard one rumor that you brought up just something that's totally relevant. I heard a rumor that Spider Man 3, the events in Spider Man 3 may be dictated by what happens in WandaVision. Like, things may change based yeah. on what happens in WandaVision for Spider Man 3, storyline wise. Like, that, that show might be important to Spider Man. Yeah. Um, so, Same with Doctor Strange. Cause yeah. I think Doctor Strange comes out. I'm not too sure. I'll correct. I'll correct it. But I think the way it is, it's Wanda. It's a Wanda. WandaVision, Doctor Strange, and then Spider-Man. Yeah, WandaVision's on Disney though, right? Yeah, Disney yeah. Plus. So I mean, Disney Plus future. But it's also it kind of opened up the door to like what kind of different timelines and multiverses. And you also have the Marvel What If. So is that going to be? That and any, remember those that timelines might be canon. Or like I don't. I, I don't know. I know that we may get a zombie Iron Man. Um. I know that the last thing that Chadwick Boseman, 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 rest in peace to the the King, Ping, uh, King, pa King. Oh my God, the King Black, Black Panther. Panther. Yeah. I fucking couldn't speak for a second. Yeah. Um, yeah, rest in peace to Chadwick. Like uh, his last thing he recorded was that. I think we brought that up last time though. Yeah. Um, for what if? There's a lot of stuff that is going around like with their multiverse talk, especially because they're like one rumor for a long time was Tom Cruise might be Iron Man in. Yeah. Um, it's Doctor so, Strange, which I I don't hate Tom Cruise. I'm just saying the idea of it doing that very I unique. About, yeah, 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 very unique. So just by the way, this is this is all right now. Everything speculation. Yeah, yeah, speculation. Yeah. Everything's like up in the air. It's a, so It's basically we're speaking on the rumor mill, but there's nothing denied. So yeah, as of now, of this video, there's nothing. Like something might come out in a few days or next week or whatever. But as yeah, of this video, as of the date right now, we didn't yeah, know. Exactly. It, yeah. So, but there's still it's still exciting to hear all these news and all yeah. this stuff coming out because um, another person. Um, this is this is what was crazy to me though. There, they, people are saying it's already confirmed that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are going to be in the next Spider-Man for. The, for I the, doubt it. For the multiverse. I doubt it. I doubt it. And the people are, and they're already saying Kirsten Dunst and the. Oh, excuse me. The second Hobgoblin or Ho yeah, Hobgoblin, yeah. The, the one from Spider-Man Two with, with yeah, Hobgoblin. yeah. So, You're talking about uh, James Franco. So this is just something I wanted to bring up. But I thought would be hilarious is how funny would it be to have Spider-Man Three bring the other two Spider-Mans that never could get a third one, and then they're all in Spider-Man Spider Three. 3. That yeah. would be such like a fuck you from yeah. Sony. <laughs> They'd be literally like, "How we got our way." <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Yeah, yeah, we did, we it. did it. We finally, after all these years, recovered from our yeah, biggest dude. losses. <laughs> it took us like fifteen years, <laughs> but we finally made all the movies you guys wanted at one move in one movie. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> so, um, also another thing they could probably do with the uh, this uh, multiverse of madness. This could be another way for them to integrate Sony into the main timeline so maybe like venom Blade, i'm gonna keep Morbius, my yeah I'm, Men. I'm keeping my hopes up but there's a lot of dumb talk from sony right now too yeah, about like, their side movies that they're wanting to do they want to do a whole movie about craven the hunter they want to that, do that's a toss-up too there's like there's, yeah, it's a room a rumor yeah, mill yeah. part of the rumor mill but like i i don't they, they're feeling a lot sony has the inconsist has the characters the best characters of Marvel off and on, right? They have good characters like Spider-Man and then they get a shitty one, right? Yeah. But then it's like they try to milk those characters by releasing solo movies or better yet, you get like a watered down version of it so that they can create a Marvel verse. Like, and it, then they end up just deciding to do a Marvel, ver combining this. And it's like it, they're feeling a lot like how DC has felt. Yes. And, and, and is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, they haven't been so successful, and I think it's just it's just lack of consistency. And like you're saying, they're trying to come, like we've all been saying, like they're like they're just trying to play catch up. They really are, like, and it's scary. Yeah, yeah it's, they're just trying to. It's embarrassing yeah, when it, it is, when dude. it comes to like the idea that there's even gonna be like just a Craven the Hunter movie makes me be like, yo, nobody watches Craven the Hunter for Craven the Hunt. They watch Spider Man for Craven. Like they get Craven <laughs> the Hunter oh, with Spider Man. Like. The idea that you would create a backstory with a whole movie seems like something that could be done in 15 minutes and a flashback in Spider-Man 3. Yeah, like, dude, for real. Well, I have this question for you. Would you rather see Craven the Hunter have his own movie 
or would you have them be a villain in a Spider-Man movie? Well, they're for sure. That's their ideas. Sony always has wanted to do a Sinister Six. Ah, that's right. Yeah, they've yeah, always wanted to do it. Yeah, and like, so with this new movie, with this, there's supposed to be six of these with Tom Holland, the, from Sony, the yeah. Spider-Man movies. He's supposedly rumored to have six of those Spider-Man films in his name. So it's not just three. the The goal is six, I think. And on the sixth one, it's supposed to be Sinister Six. Okay. So they're trying to like so set it up. At least have some point, yes, some, some at, at least that it. was the original rumors that I remember. But I think things have changed to an extent. Yeah. However, it seems like this movie's going to start with what we know that Spider-Man's on the run, and that there's probably going to be Scorpion because they've been casting for him, like yeah. you said. Um, who else? There's a rumor that Mysterio, Mysterio may make an appearance at the yeah, he end. Yeah, like, and might be a villain or a, a whatchamacallit. A, part of the Sinister Six. Yeah. Um, there I may, can see him playing both parts, which would be sick. I would, I would love that character, character to be so fucking two-faced, you don't know who the yeah. fuck he's fucking working for. Do you want more of this? I'm good. And I like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, or yeah. Gyllenhaal, or whatever you say his last name. Yeah. I like his... Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Great, yeah. yeah. I guess if you say it in like real... It's not, yeah. It's I'm like, sure. It's, it's, like, <clears throat> it's, it's like how I say Shiloh LaBeouf, which is not right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not right. But, um, it's actual Shiloh LaPoof. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, let's say they do bring... Well, another thing I want to bring up, actually, is Spider... Uh, Homecoming had... Um, I forget his name. Adrian Toomes. Ch- Childish Gambino. Oh, oh, yeah. As and he, uh, yeah, they kind of rumored uh, uncle. Yeah, and his uncle, or then you have the 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 Spidey verse into the Spidey verse, um, the spy, the animated v- version uh, with Miles Morales. I would love to see a crossover. Either he comes to the the like real life screen, or yeah. this or Homecoming Spider Man, Sony Spider Man comes to uh, yeah meets Miles Morales. Yeah, Miles Morales. I, I was, so so love for yeah. that crossover to happen, dude. Because that would be, dude. Miles Morales is one of the like there. When you talk, it's funny when you talk with people and they're like, "There's only Peter Parker." I'm like, "No, there's Peter Parker, and then there's Miles Morales. Like, there's the 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 Spider Man. Like, yeah. Miles was in arguably even stronger than Peter Parker. He had the Venom punch. He had he could go invisible. Yeah. The only thing he didn't have was he wasn't. I, if I remember correctly, his spider sense was different. Like. Peter Parker's spider sense was way better, yeah. like more on point. Um, and then also, uh, he has a little give and take with his skills. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, and then um, well, Peter Parker was the science genius. I think True. that Miles was just a genius in yeah. general, just like brilliant. Um, but those two are like, they're definitely so that would be so cool. lit, especially Tom Holland meeting that. Oh shit, that would be so what fun. If, what if that Spider Man we see? In fucking when he runs into you know in Miles Morales. Oh yeah, what you're about that the... Spider-Man is Tom Holland. Oh, that'd be <laughs> dope, bro. Because they are doing the second one, so right. I mean. But uh, I guess speculations aside, and all the fucking fan and what we want to see, um, or um, I, 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 what I wanted to ask you though, uh, what would you want to see if any, if they did make a universe or like another Spider-Man to come in? What kind of Spider-Man or universe or Spider-Man universe you'd like to see come into this? Like, is it still going to be a part of the current universe, the Marvel, so the Marvel and Sony verse, um, or is it separate? Like, are you talking about like they're trying to reinvent, or because so it says they're going to bring different in this one, and with the like we're saying the so with the Spider Man three and then the Doctor Strange and then the WandaVision, how they're supposed to like everything's guess, linked, intertwine yeah. and Somehow bring more dimensions into it. So, I guess let me ask you this kind of question: What kind of which Spider-Man universe would you want our Spider-Man... To experience? Yeah. Well, Venom's not, obviously not, the easiest ex- one. Okay, wait, wait. My bad. Not experience or to meet, so like... Another like, Spider-Man? Like you are Spider-Man or oh, Ultimate well, Spider-Man. Oh, well, dude, that'd or, be the... Whatever, the 2199. The yeah. one that's from the way future that's like the like most beast Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, he's like a fucking actual beast. <laughs> um, so would you, you would I would like to, to see the future. The, the, the future, future yeah, the future one. But for the record, though... And into the Spider Verse, the cartoon with Miles Morales, the very end, there is in fact a future Spider Man scene from the one I'm talking about, the twenty one. Right. There yeah. is a literal scene where they're yeah. like, somebody, I think Madam Web is telling this. I don't remember that Spider Man's name. It's not Peter Parker. It's something else. Um, 
that oh the world is in trouble yeah. in the past and you don't even know it or something like that and he like goes and jumps in through one of those things and it seems like he was going to see miles like so. and like they were going to get peter parker again together so that would be cool the future one and then also um i would like to see one of the symbiote spider-mans in that That'd where it's where it's like uh, spider carnage yeah. would be really fucking cool to see um toxin would be one that i always bring up Toxin, I think, was a good, like, a good symbiote, if I remember. Like, he was an anti-villain, mm. uh, anti-hero. Yeah, okay. Um, you know what would be dope, though? I would love to see a universe where Sp Spider-Man sees that um, maybe he's dead. Yeah. And Iron Man's alive. Oh, yeah. Or maybe, yeah. maybe even crazy, like, maybe even, like, a step above that, like, where they're both alive and they're both so alive. you're talking about four like either like just in the spider world right I, okay yeah. for a second i was like because they could do that with what if yeah well, yo yeah they could definitely do that with what if or spider-man imagine is, a what if or fucking robert downey jr returns uh, yeah, <laughs> <Down> syndrome <laughs> okay, like, i'm yeah. gonna make a clip and i'll cut that out just so just just yeah. For, noting <laughs> yeah no <laughs> ben's all embarrassed he's like shit I was even on shrooms yet, and I'm saying dumb shit. <laughs> um, no, it'd be so dope to see a what if where, like, Spider Man is the one who, like, Iron Man gets sniped, snapped away, and then Iron, like, Spider Man's the one who, he's like, I'm Spider Man, and he snaps his finger. Yeah. Oh, that or would he's be like, I'm lit. Peter or something like that. I would love that. He's like, I'm Peter, and I have a Peter. <laughs> and he snaps his finger. But then you just see, like, a little, like, 45. No, you know what he would of say? Them, like, of the how. Uh, Wait, before you go on, you know what his last st statement would be, right? It would not be, I'm Spider-Man. It would be, well, I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and he'd flick. Because he always ends shit like yeah. that. Like, and then that would be hella epic. That would be a crazy what if. Dude, Holy that's, shit. That's a good what if. Or, yeah, that, or that's Spider-Man snaps instead of Iron Man. That might be more, I may like that one more than the idea of a uh, zombie Spider-Man, a uh, zombie Iron Man coming back. Because remember, yeah. there was Zombie Iron Man. I'll make and this a clip, and you guys better fucking like and fucking right. share this shit to me. Like, make comment, fucking... share, hit your IG. <laughs> All right. Who doesn't want to see fucking Iron Man mm. grieving Spider-Man, especially? Because you did see it in the movie, but just imagine a life where it's like... He, that would be he's the one lit. who snapped away instead of That would be lit, bro. That would like to see that. Um, another thing that me, Will, would always bring up is Secret Wars. Mm. We'd like to see those. They But they're saying... That's seeming like a possibility now with verse with with Marvel. I mean, uh, with the second part of their yeah or four, phase four or Eternals, phase five. Eternals. Yeah, they're going Eternals and then ball, but they're phase kind of four, going towards just, Secret Wars. Phase four, as far as I, as far as they're making it seem, is more of a Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the alternate universes they created. Like so, like phase Kenya, five is what I'm talking Hawkeye about. Then yeah, I don't want to see anything Hawkeye. Just besides, the only one is What If, and then maybe a uh, Wandavision. That's all. Wandavision, What If? You're right. You're maybe I'd right. uh, probably watch a couple episodes of Loki. Just to I see would. What yeah, you're an right. Alternate universe where he has a Tesseract. Yeah, because he first after it, after yeah, because yeah. they fucked up yeah. when they went back in time. Yeah, that's would be pretty interesting. To yeah, see. I like that. The what ifs have a lot of good potential. Yeah, I'm curious. So, I know I've probably uh, been beating this dead horse and sound like a dead record, but you watch the boys, bro? Nah, dude. Duh. Nah. Okay, I don't blame you, but okay for the second season, it was so good. It, it was finished, epic. It just finished a couple weeks ago. It was. So you already good. won a third, huh? Yeah, well, there's already the third in the making. So Is it? You're yeah. happy? Yeah, that's yeah, good. So, but um, I I just think I like my reason for not watching it is no longer that bullshit about like me the sense of me being sensitive to certain a scenes. Lot hyped. Well, it's just it's getting super ex dude exactly it's getting a little hyped and I'm like I want to wait and I think I can wait until the third season because then I can just do what I'm doing with Dragon Ball and just binge watch it. It's literally like the bad. Ver it's literally what a lot of fans, especially comic book fans want to see Marvel do, but, you know, it's Disney, so you're not going to see... It's too dark, yeah. You're not going to see people just getting their face bashed in or, yeah. like, getting ripped in half. What if, could, what if could pull it off? No, just, this is literally, like, one of those ones where it's, like... It's, they it's, blow what people, what like... Could probably, I mean, it's still Disney Plus, so I doubt it. I don't know, dude. I don't think Disney could ever do that dude who's running super fast and he runs through the person. Yeah. I've yeah. watched a few episodes of Boys, The Voice, and I the first few episodes, I was like... This is brutal. Like, so without spoiling stuff for the second seasons, Stormfront, she's an awesome character. 
she has great chemistry with Homelander, which is one of the main dudes. You see a lot more of a uh, Black Noir, one of the the uh, the dude that's all black and then just hey, you, you get pooped, dude. <laughs> Now you got it I on your he's ankle. Looking, I know, right? I'm like, fuck. That's going to trip you out when you're on shrooms. <laughs> uh, you're like, the poop's all it's over me. It's growing cats. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, look at my face. Yeah. I just look over. I'm just like. <laughs> Yo, boy, you do that shit, bro. I'm going to put this mattress on. I'm going to go lay down, bro. Like, I will be like. I, you see me run out with the cats? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yo, I'm going to lose my shit. You do that. Um, I'm going to cry, bro. <laughs> I will. I'll be like, this boy has poop breath forever. So it goes into more details with all the characters. If you get if you felt stumped after season one, you 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 are greatly satisfied, but also wanting more. Like as as every good show should leave you, and you know feel you feel satisfied, but you still want more after mm. each you know season. And they did the to me. I like where they do like weekly stuff, but if you hate that stuff, now's the time to watch it because especially if you haven't seen it. Binge the first, binge the second. That's at least. Almost twenty, maybe you know, I mean, almost twenty hours of oh. like stuff to binge, so good you point. have like a good week, you know, to watch the whole season. Yeah, both seasons. And, yeah, both um, two, both uh, one and two. But uh, for people who've seen this, you'll get this and everything, and a lot of twists, a lot of turns, a lot of uh, comic following, but swaps like body swaps, all this stuff, mm. uh, gender swaps, and uh, you know. Ben's like, I love this show. This this so once you finish the season, you, you'll it's definitely a head popper. Mm. So, I'll, I'll watch it eventually. Yeah, I will for sure. I won't be able to. I won't be able to hold back. It's like that one. What was the one called? Brightburn. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, too. that one was crazy. It took me a while to watch it, but when I watched it, I was like, Oh um, shit! Yeah, I was like, This would be like a nutty world if Superman was like this just like hella evil just but from the get go like there was no changing this I'm kid I'm telling you you would you would, you would like the boys for yeah. sure I will cause the, like I said those first few episodes my only thing was I just was being a little pussy he does there's, there's a few things where especially where he's like it's like, uncomfortable you'll see the second season where he's like he has milk and he's like that's hella weird cause he has like this weird like mother relationship with one of the women in yeah the first one. I don't know if you remember if they even if you got that far I don't know I got three where he like starts there. sucking on her titty uh, he's like sucking on her breast milk and then like all this stuff happens Jesus then, man I'm so glad like, I missed he this has, like, <laughs> he has like a, a container for breast milk and he warms it up and he's like <laughs> like it's whiskey and then there's like a shapeshifter and he ends up like fucking himself cause he's like yeah, like, yeah, like, dude, it's crazy, dude. That's it's brutal. uncomfortable, but I think it's the perfect amount of comfortable where it's like makes you like it. Some people, you know, like this is how it reflects a lot. Like, yeah, so it's there's a lot of reflection of like little like kind of like blink and you miss it moments where it's yeah. like, oh shit, this is like kind of representation of this or this is like what this is or this episode represents. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Clearly, him fucking himself is Trump over America. <laughs> I see where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, he, no, but I get it. I get what you're saying. Hell yeah, sounds dope. Yeah, he's Trump. I'm pretty sure Trump fucked himself. So Hell yeah, he does, bro. He's like, clone me so I can fuck me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Only we, I fuck me. But uh, pretty much that's it. I don't know if there's anything else you want to add. Mm-mm. Everything's good. All right. Everything's going pretty good. <laughs> hey don't forget before you guys end this episode to hit the subscribe button hit the like button and comment down below and drop some questions or anything you want us to talk about next time Definitely. Hey. check out cool Can's channel link right. in the description always uh the channel instagram support his stuff check it out he got good fucking um New joint drop in October 26th. New song. La da 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 da. Yeah, yeah it's called the merch that. to go with it. So Hell check yeah. it out. Check it Hell out. yeah. Check it out. Um, Mad love to you, man. Thank you for that shout yeah, out. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me come over and uh, like record with me. That's always Hell the yeah. It's like, the best the part of the week. Yeah, the best yeah. part of the week. So everybody be nice. Be safe to eat. Or be nice. Be safe. You know, be kind. Everybody's going through something. Mm-hmm. So just, you know, make sure to open that door and smile. So. Snurt cast out. Snurt.